Libby and welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you the different ways that I wear my head wraps. So as you know, I cut my hair off and I will have some really good hair days and then other times I will have some really bad hair days. So instead of looking busted and disgusted, I have really started embracing my Erica Badu vibes with the whole head wrap type movement. And I have figured out three different ways that I love to wear my head wraps that I want to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's go get into it. So when I wake up in the morning and my hair is looking awful, of course I already have my bonnet on. I like to wear my bonnet underneath my scarves because it is satin material and the scarves could be cotton or some type of material that's not really good for your hair. So I'm gonna start off by putting Le Bonnet on my head. Bam. <laughs> there we go. And the first type of head wrap I'm going to show you is the quick and easy one. I have this light scarf. It's not really big. It's not really thick. It's kind of perfect. This is all, this scarf right here is my go-to. I love the fact that it is black and white. So all I do is I try to find the middle of it. I put it over my head and I bring it to the front trying to cover my bonnet. Tuck it right by my ears and I gather it all to the front. From there, I separate the two pieces and I just loop it underneath. And then I, oh, that was definitely a fail. Hold on, y'all. I kind of do it like a shoe. Like, the, there we go. And I just try to pull it as far as I could and then from there, I tighten it up and I twist this where the knot is. And then I twist the ends all the way down. And then I twist it around itself. And as I twist, I also tuck it under to stay. And then this part, you just tuck it under like so. Tuck in the tag and ooh, ah, and we have our first head wrap. Now the second type of head wrap, I'm going to be using this big old scarf right here. Now for all the head wraps, I use regular scarves that you could wear in the winter time and I just put them on my head. This one is thicker in material and I start by doing the exact same thing as the last head wrap. I find the middle and I put it, bring it to the front like so. Now the difference on this type of particular head wrap that I'm going to do, if you ever have twisted um, your braiding hair and did single least twist, that's the type of twist that I'm going to have for this. So I cross it, try to get it as close to my head as possible, and then I twist it like a single least twist. And as you can see the twist forming, it is different than the last twist that I did on the other head wrap. All the way down. And for this part, I'm going to twirl it in the front like the last one because the twist is different. It's gonna give you a different type look up here. I'm gonna push it back because I do like my baby hairs to show. And also because it's bigger, it's going to give me a bigger head wrap. Tuck in all these little fraily thingies. Don't want that to show. And bow. Bow, bow. Our second head wrap. And you can even push it back a little bit. When you do your baby hairs, you go swoop them up. But yeah, this is the second one. As you can see, this one's a little bit bigger. 
the knots are different and yes. Now, the third and final way that I wear my head wraps. If I had a lot of hair, I would put a ponytail right here to wrap my head wrap around, but I don't. So, I'm going to show you guys how to get that same type of look, but doing it the cheating way. Because <laughs> you don't have the hair to do so. So had to go down and grab the scarf. I use a very, very, very small and thin scarf first. I tie it around the bonnet. I loop it like so. And then I push it back as far as I want the, the, the knot to be around. So this is good to me. And then like so, I just twirl it around each other. And like the other two, we're gonna wrap it around. Like so. Doesn't have to be perfect, just to give you that bun that you're going for. Then, this scarf is actually, it's not your um, normal scarf. I could pull it this way, but that gives me a lot. So when I lift it up, I have a triangle in the middle. So the less scarf I'm working with, the better. Then, once again, I put it over my head. Secure it. And this time, I'm still going to twirl the scarf around each other just the normal way. all the way down except this time being that I have the head scarf right here that's going to be my focal point and that's what I'm going to wrap the scarf around so technically if I had long enough hair I would just wrap it around my bun but I don't have long enough hair so I had to you got to fake it till you make it if you know what I'm saying all right and boom Tuck this little piece in, make sure you're tucking, and voila! Now me, personally, I'm not very particular about how it's looking, if it's looking straight or not. As long as the little pieces are tucked in, I'm good. I think head scarves, perfect, messy, you really can't tell. As long as you have a cute head scarf and it's matching your outfit, you're in there. So, but yeah, this is the third look. Just as a side note, I do want to put it out there that you can always twist the ends of the head scarf however you want. You can do the single lease twist type way, or you can just twirl it around each other, or even you can just do one big twirl without even having to split the two pieces apart. So it's really a preference thing. And depending on how big your head scarf is, you can probably wrap it all the way around your head and then wrap it around each other in the front. I always like wearing my head wraps in the front because when I put it to the back, I have a small head, and so when I put it to the back, you get to really see how small my head is, and I don't like that. It's not flattering on me. So I always do it right up here in the front, sweep my little baby hairs when I need to, and go about my day. So yes, if you're ever having a bad hair day, or if you don't feel like doing your hair, I got you, sis. Try one of my head wraps out, okay? So with that being said, you guys have to do like, share, comment. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.